Stop getting the wrong advice. Ensure you get the right skills for the right job for jobs in the Middle East. Contact Loy Macedo. Now, because I, uh, I expose a lot of stuff about the Middle East, I get a lot of um, articles, links, shares, uh, people, stuff that people cannot put uh, or share on social media or publicly. But uh, there are times where I also get photographs and videos. And I'm not just talking of these viral videos. I'm talking of really private, intimate uh, videos that, you know, if someone were to put it up, they can either be jailed or they can have a legal case against them. <sighs> videos, uh, like, I'll, I'll give an example, uh, since I'm talking about Emirates. Uh, when the when the lockdown started, the cabin crew, uh, you know, initially we all thought it was nothing serious and people were over overacting or overreacting. So cabin crew members, uh, guys and girls, they were having in-house parties, which is normal. Okay, uh, so they were having in-house parties and booze parties and all that. I got some of those videos and uh, photographs and. You know, I had uh, put up a uh, my own video with regards to that, but I censored uh, their faces and uh, I didn't show the video that I received. The only update that I showed was what one guy shared publicly on his Facebook, uh, on Facebook Live. He had uh, made a video and he was showing the middle finger to the cops when they were driving down and saying, you know, bad words. Means he did this on his Facebook Live. So he anyway let the world know, so I shared exactly the same thing. However, after I received emails requesting for it to be removed, uh, apart from emails of threats and emails of, uh, uh, you know, calling me names and all that stuff. So eventually, I was like, you know, I, I removed it. I, you know, I'm not interested uh, to hurt or harm anyone and I'm not looking for what 1000 extra views or say 10,000 extra views by putting someone in jail because these are very serious offenses in the Middle East and um, you and I or rather people who have been in UAE or Middle East for many years know that once you're in jail how your life can be destroyed so um, I'd, I'd remove those videos. Now, lately I've started to get videos of Emirates Airlines, videos and photographs, which are rather, I, I don't know how the hell they are taking those videos. Either it is a spy cam or, or uh, the person is not aware or it's kept placed you know, in hiding or I, I don't know. I don't know how they're doing it, but I'll tell you, uh, the videos that I've received in question, videos and photographs that I received in question were targeting the HR people, okay? One was the HR people, the other one was uh, another kind of uh, group that I received, group of emails and photographs was of, uh, uh, you know, uh, private conversations and uh, I know that this is Emirates Airlines uh, uh, offices or headquarters because obviously when they take the video, you know, you can make out this office, he's walking or she's walking and they go. And um, see, I'll, I'll give you an example of the footage that I received. Uh, one of the footage that I received was in an office. This is in the office. It's obviously Emirates Airlines setup. You can make out. Uh, they are talking. I will not give the names or I will not even give you the clue of the identity. But obviously, Western expats, okay? And they are talking about the employees who are being terminated. Uh, and some of them are saying, oh, she deserved it, the fucking bitch. Yeah, he was this and that. Oh, I feel so sorry for them, but, you know, uh, we can't do anything. So this was a uh, video audio clip. The other one is where these people are, I don't know, standing for tea or coffee 
they're standing around and they're talking and they're discussing stuff about termination and what is next then there was a video that was shared to me of i don't know this is like saying a goodbye or farewell everyone's wearing masks there are uh, western experts and there are locals emiratis and they're sitting and they're applauding and he, you know um, like and then there was one in a meeting uh, the disturbing part was th these people's names identities positions uh, everything has been shared and uh, they even uh, one person has even sent me e uh, an email with the photograph and their name and designation this is the person who has been doing this this is the person who has been doing that now um i'll 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 be honest with you um uh, i'm not into this kind of uh, expose i'm not into uh exposing individuals like specific and uh, this is a very dangerous game actually if you, if you start exposing people's names and identities and all that they can personally be attacked they you know their whole identity everything will be on the internet and uh, it'll be forever yeah, see another thing what uh, people need to keep in mind is such videos if they go into newspapers if they go into like daily mail online will pay you money to get footage like this i'm uh, i'm really not interested to make money this way that where i forward someone's personal uh, details you know or their identity or their videos man they will be destroyed these people will be destroyed uh, they will as it is they'll be terminated from emirates airlines on top of that people who have been terminated they will use them as for vengeance and then uh, you know once you're on the world wide web you may never get a job anywhere and that also for what maybe $1000 $3000 or some couple of views this is not worth it yeah yeah i i wouldn't do that even to my worst enemy so i'm so i'm i'm not trying to put up this video to make me sound like oh look i'm a saint and all that but number one is this is very very dangerous on the internet it's called doxing where you expose people's names in fact uh, there is this ex emirates cabin crew female who doxed a, a passenger's name address email phone number company that is working for publicly online on a channel and had everyone try to attack her and that was her most viewed videos that time at around 70000 views or 80000 and uh, people didn't appreciate this even cabin crew did not appreciate this yes if you okay a passenger complained he got terminated but that doesn't mean you try to take vengeance and destroy his life even that cabin crew uh, female who got uh, who herself left the job she resigned uh, after the warning she was not terminated she said i never asked this female to do this because this is highly unethical it's highly unethical okay so number one is you're destroying the person's life number two is if you are caught and there are ways for the person to be found out through investigative uh, means if you are found out you are in serious serious trouble okay um and last if not the least i think this is a very sleazy way of doing things i'm not a tmz channel i'm not a, a channel for vengeance like even when i've received videos of uh you know cabin crew members in compromising positions uh the guy's hand on a butt or she's holding his crotch in fact there was a video of two of them having sex in the pool okay uh i don't know uh which pool it was but it was it was in ue okay i have seen that video and uh i know for a fact it is ue and it was 
although I do not know the individuals, guy and girl, okay? Uh, I mean, you need to be careful with such shit, you know? Uh, so, obviously, what did I do? I, I don't keep such stuff. I don't even keep it in my inbox. I don't even save it in my hard disk. And uh, I don't forward it to anyone because it's not right. Even if there's someone who I deeply, deeply trust, I'll not share it with anybody. It's not right. It's just not fucking right, man. You know, if it goes, if it leaks, the person's finished. So, my request to all of you who are doing this kind of like video and or audio or uh, photograph or spy stuff, I appreciate your trust, that you're trusting me and sharing this with me, but uh, one is, I don't want this. I don't want this. And this is a very dangerous precedent because you're liable for criminal charges if caught. That's number one. And second one is you're destroying a person's life, which is not required, you know? So, the bottom line, I understand what you're trying to do. You're trying to expose the hypocrisy that there is, that people are being terminated, that they are celebrating, oh, party, and they're enjoying, and, uh, you know, it's all the fake culture. I totally understand that. Office politics, corporate culture, fakeness, that's everywhere. That's not just Emirates Airlines. And um, if we have to get angry, we have to look right at the top, the main guys, because the main guys were the ones who said, okay, we need to downsize, terminate people. So it's not the HR person who is doing it. Okay, I'll remove these three from here and these three from there. Yes, there is a preferential sh uh, selection that, okay, name the three candidates that you want, okay, out of the nine. So they'll give their pick. Okay, based on this, okay, maybe that can be a possibility, but uh, the ones who are getting terminated and all that, it's not because of an HR manager or HR officer. And um, we don't need to individually pick up or see this Emirati or see this British woman or see this Australian or American or whatever. Let's not do that. So I just wanted to share this with all of you and uh, you can give me your thoughts, you can give me your views. What do you think? Because I, I, I seriously don't want to get into this. At least that's not me. All right. So I thought I'd share with you these thoughts, uh, more updates in the next video. All right. Yes, take care. Stop getting the wrong advice. Ensure you get the right skills for the right job for jobs in the Middle East. Contact Loy Macedo.